for him, this is kind of like a sprint. Like, this is very, very fast for a tortoise. So he's I really going. I can't protect you with leaves. We're the Irwins, and this is Australia Zoo. Our dad, Steve, built this zoo to protect our world wildlife. Today, we strive to carry on his mission. So come with us. This is Wild Times. <laughs> G'day guys, I'm Bindi and this is my lovely boyfriend G'day. Chandler and we are with our adorable black and white oh. rough lemurs. They are hilarious. They are hilarious. <laughs> you can see that they are extremely fluffy, extremely hungry and unbelievably cute. We have three brothers and the three brothers are only a year old. So we have Andrew, Maro, and Tello, and they are just loving it <laughs> and here. And there's a lot of your fluff in my face at the moment. <laughs> They're like oh. giant pillows. They feed on mainly fruit and nectar, and having this thick coat of fur, the pollen sticks to their fur really nicely. So as they travel through the trees, they're pollinating the entire forest. So they're the largest pollinators in the world. Now, they're one of very few known lemurs to actually build nests for yeah. their young. Hey. So they're young. They're born a little more underdeveloped than most lemurs. Yeah. So these guys put their young in Hi. nests while the mothers go and forage. Hi. And then after a few weeks, they'll be <laughs> old enough to venture out with their mother. They have, like, human hands. They have little fingernails, really soft pads, and they <laughs> you never know when one's going to jump down and land on your head. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? <laughs> You're very sweet, and they're extremely gentle. So when anyone comes to visit them, they love to get fed, and they'll use those little hands to grab pieces of fruits and vegetables. They hang by their feet, which is really interesting. A lot of people think that they'll hold on by their tail, but they actually hold on by their feet. And what's fascinating is when they run through the forest, through those trees, it's like they Velcro onto the trees. So when they're moving at a great pace, they just suction onto the trees and keep going. It's the coolest thing. It's incredible. One of my favorite things about these black and white rough lemurs is those massive orange eyes. These guys are critically endangered, and that's why we are so lucky to have them here at Australia Zoo, because they need all the love and protection that they can get. Definitely. They're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Jarvis, and we're in our awesome tortoise area. He is an incredible Aldabra tortoise. He isn't he just massive? He's so cool and a little bit grumpy. <laughs> so Jarvis is only about 43 at the moment, and he's got a beautiful little girl in with him, and she's actually 66. And I know that that does sound quite old, but these tortoises are some of the oldest living creatures on the planet. They will live up and over a hundred years. Oh, he's, he's a little bit feisty too. But once they get up to this size, they've pretty much got no threats at all in the wild because they are massive. He loves to eat sweet potato, carrots, hibiscus leaves. These are some of his favorite things. But right now it's Oop. kind of mating season. So <laughs> he's a little bit... He's very feisty, but you can see he loves his carrots. But you've got to be quite careful of your fingers because these tortoises, as you can see, they have that kind of beak-shaped mouth. So they have a really strong bite as well. So he would be capable of biting down really, really hard. The great carapace is different in every animal. So they've got slight variations and they're recognizable by their carapace, kind of the way people are all a little bit different. Yep, I love their feet. Have a look at that. Like, you think of sea turtles and freshwater turtles, and they have those kind of flippers, that sort of webbed feet, whereas he has feet like an elephant. It's incredible. So that really helps him to traverse that really harsh terrain and just plow through anything. They're the largest tortoise species. And as their name suggests, they occur in the Aldabra Islands, kind of off the coast of Eastern Africa. They're really, really special creatures. The nice thing about tortoises is they're not like crocodiles. Like you never have to worry about them striking and getting you. I don't know. They're, they're, not, they're not extremely quick. But for him, this is kind of like a sprint. Like this is very, very fast for a tortoise. 
So he's, he's really going. I can't protect you with leaves. There. <laughs> The largest sand island in the entire world is right here in Australia. It's over 70 miles long. This is probably one of the most amazing photography expeditions that I've ever been on. And I would say one of the most breathtaking experience I've, I've ever had with any animal. In this image, this is a huge humpback whale. You can actually see me, this little tiny speck, and you can really see that size comparison. That's me photographing this whale. And so the story behind this image, I was actually out on the Great Barrier Reef. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, these two giant kind of ominous looking shapes just started rising up out of the deep water. I didn't know what it was at first. And then I realized, oh, those are whales. And oh, I, I didn't even know what to think. They all of a sudden were right up next to us. I was just floating in the water, looking, just completely stunned. And then I went, oh, I should probably be photographing this. And so I got my camera and started taking photos. And it was such a moving experience because these are some of the most powerful creatures on the planet, some of the largest creatures as well. And yet they were so gentle. And it was definitely an experience that I will never forget. Next week on Wild Times. These guys love walking all throughout Australia Zoo. And then we always bring a wheelbarrow with us in case they get tired. They have little tiny legs. <laughs>